Warning, this guided tour of Barry's home contains spoilers for plot elements of Fallout 4 and the various DLCs of Fallout 4. You have been warned. Go forth knowing that you have been warned. After a long day of travelling the Commonwealth, it's nice to have somewhere to call your own, to call home that you can go back to, and for Barry, that place is here, home plate in Diamond City. Join me, will you, as I go on a guided tour of home plate, with you, and with Barry, starting with here, the workshop half of home plate. We're going to start in this corner with the chemistry station that's never really used for anything. And all of these things that are here primarily to be display pieces. We have loads of these scattered around in the workshop and in boxes, but these ones are here just in case Barry needs to grab some things like this sensor thingy or an ear examiner while he's doing various crafting things. They're all pretty important things, trust me, especially the duct tape. The duct tape is super important. Over here is a decontamination arch, just in case you get irradiated while travelling around the Commonwealth, that happens quite a bit, and you need to get rid of all of those rads. This machine will deal with all of them really quickly. And here is a suit of power armour. One of three suits of power armour that Barry has on display. This is the only suit that Barry actually uses, some X01 Mark VI Quantum Armor that he found on one of his longer adventures. It's only ever really used when he has to go to the Glowing Sea, because the Glowing Sea is full of radiation, and this armor is really good at protecting him from the radiation and from damage. A hazmat suit would be good, but they're not really good at, you know, defending from getting hit by anything. Here is a stack of paint. We have all the paint we could ever need. We have blue, yellow, red, and green. What other paint could you possibly need? I can't think of any. There's a radio that we're not going to turn on, and a newspaper that's 200 years out of date. I'm waiting for the newest edition, but last I heard the Boston Bugle wasn't making any more papers. I can't imagine why. There is a gun that I got from Paladin Dance. Paladin Dance worked with the Brotherhood of Steel. Barry also worked with the Brotherhood of Steel. This helmet was given to him by somebody in the Brotherhood of Steel for his exemplary service with them. He became a Paladin with the Brotherhood of Steel. Why am I talking about the Brotherhood of Steel in the past tense? Well, let's just say that Barry is no longer associated with the Brotherhood of Steel. His association with them ended, um, violently. And explosively! Let's just leave it at that, shall we? And move on to this steamer trunk full of various pieces of power armor, including Brotherhood of Steel power armor. Let's look instead at this saw that's precariously balanced like that. There we go, much better. And look at this Nuka Cola power armor that we got on the same adventure that we got this armor from. It's nice power armor. But it's not as good as this power armor. I generally keep this here because, uh, T-51 power armor is my favorite power armor. And Barry's favorite as well. It reminds him of happier times. When everything wasn't destroyed by a giant blazing nuclear inferno. Anyway, let's move over to here. To the weapons workbench. And this thing that I don't know what it's doing. What is this doing here? I must have forgot about uh, the fact that I put that there. Either way, it's now gone. It ceases to exist and has been placed in the workshop. Just pretend that was never there. There's a safe here that never has anything in it, and a weapons workbench, which is often used to break down weapons and turn them into various resources that we use to make things. Anything I can do? You just say the word. I don't know who you're speaking to there, Piper, but I'll get round to talking about you in a minute. The armor workbench is over here, for much the same reason that the weapon workbench is. And here's a weapon rack, with no weapon in it. I really should put a weapon there. And a trash can. You never know when a trash can could be useful. There is a Vault 111 suit. Growing food sure is a lot dirtier than it was in the Institute. But I think it's a lot more fun, too. 
What a nice segue to talk about the Institute. Barry originally started his adventures in the Commonwealth because he was cryogenically frozen in Vault 111, alongside his wife and his son Sean. But he was thawed out to see his wife killed and his son kidnapped. And when he eventually thawed out again after being refrozen, he swore to find his son and avenge the death of his wife. He managed to avenge the death of his wife. And then he found his son in the Institute. He worked for the Institute for quite a while. Barry is no longer associated with the Institute, however. Let's just say that that relationship ended violently and explosively, just like the Brotherhood of Steel one. What a coincidence. Anyway, he went to find his son, and then he found his son, and then he killed his son. Oh, I'd like you to meet my son, by the way. Here's Sean. Dr. It... Watson always said that the surface was hopeless. But it's not. Just look at what people are building. It's a complicated thing, the whole finding Barry's son thing. The evidence is right here. Very complicated. Let's not talk about it anymore. And instead focus on these four boxes. This box has weapon mods in it. This one has institute stuff in it. This one has all kinds of food in it, and this one has all kinds of loot that I don't want to put in any of the other things. Including stuff that really should probably be in some of the other stuff, like these weapon mods that I should take out at some point. There's also these three lockers. This one has loads of weapons in it. This one has loads of armor. This one has Maybe loads of medical supplies. Us, but the Commonwealth never lacks for excitement. Hello, Piper! How are you? Barry lives here in Homeplate with Sean really glad that you're trying so hard and to make Piper. The a better place. Thank you very much. Your enthusiasm and optimism is appreciated. Piper is a journalist here in Diamond City. The only journalist in Diamond City. And she's just sitting at her work uh, table there. We'll be looking at that in a little bit. Let's look over here at this giant bottle of Vim and ignore it and instead look at all of this baseball collectible stuff in this display case. The people of the Commonwealth have no idea what baseball actually is. Efforts to educate them on that have ended in failure. So let's instead move on to all of this stuff. Souvenirs of Barry's adventures in Far Harbor with Nick Valentine, a synth detective, as they went to seek out somebody that had gone to Far Harbor to run away. There were lots of things to do in Far Harbor, and many dangerous things. Some things really more dangerous than, uh, so the in the Commonwealth. A better place. There were lots of mysterious monsters and even more mysterious places. And along with the residents of Far Harbor itself, there was also a Children of Atom outpost. In an old submarine. Barry got to know them. He it's even joined them at one point, She's to get to know them even baby, better. Right? It makes me sad. It is very sad indeed. Barry is no longer associated with the Children of Atom. Let's just say that that association ended, um, violently and explosively. Just like the Institute and with the Brotherhood of Steel. What a coincidence! Anyway, ignoring that and that worrying trend that's starting to develop, here's loads of bottles of Vim that's found in plentiful quantity in Far Harbor, and these souvenir cups I, and glasses and mom. plates. He died when I was just a baby, right? That kind of makes me sad. You know you just mentioned that, Sean. You literally just talked about that. You're going to talk about it again, aren't you, soon enough? Probably. I definitely didn't steal these. Oh, I definitely didn't. I Let me may know have if there's stole anything them. I can do to lighten the load, or, you know... If you need anything proofread. You could give the guided tour yourself, but you're not going to, are you? No, you're just going to walk over there. Fair enough. This is a T-51 helmet that is painted up with the Vim paint scheme. I do like T-51, as I said. And here is loads of food, perfectly preserved. You don't want to know how much time Barry spent organizing all of these you to be here. Forever. At least, not if I have my say. It's strange, but... I feel part of something, finally. You are indeed part of something, Sean. Focusing again on the food that has all been meticulously placed here. 
loads of it. Funnel cakes from Nuka World. Fancy Lad snack cakes. Deezer's lemonade. Lamco mac and cheese. Insta mash. Salisbury steaks. Coffee tins. Rat poison. That's not food. Don't eat that. And a salt and pepper mill. Well, the salt shaker and a pepper mill. Let's look over here now at all of the souvenirs. Wow, it's hot today. It is indeed. Why not drink a refreshing glass of Nuka Cola, which you can get in Nuka World? For indeed, Barry has been to Nuka World, where he met the raider gangs that inhabit it, and the overboss that used to rule them. And then Barry defeated the overboss and became the overboss, with Gage guiding him in that role. Barry sought to change the Raider Gangs to make them better people, much like when he I hoped that he you, could do that with I didn't know what to think. the Children of the Atom, so happy and the Brotherhood of Steel, and the Institute. And as Barry went through the various parks of Nuka World, seeing all the sights and all of the wonderful things, and clearing them for the various gangs, he quickly saw that that wasn't going to happen and they weren't going to change. Barry's no longer associated with the Raider Gangs in, uh, Nuka World, he's no longer the overboss, he retired from that position, and let's just say that the association with Barry and the it's gangs really in Nuka World ended... So glad he brought me here. ...ended violently, very violently, but not explosively. It's the only association that didn't end explosively, thus bucking the trend and disproving it. But look at all the things that I found! All these brands of Nuka-Cola, all these souvenirs, and these souvenirs, and these souvenirs, and this suit that is a, uh, costume for Nuka-Girl, and this Nuka-World jumpsuit the so with these cappy glasses. Night. It all looks pretty neat, doesn't it? And as long as you don't focus on the way that the adventure in Nuka-World ended violently, for all the gangs and for Gage. It's a... it was a happy time! It was not a happy time. Not many of these adventures have been happy times. But look at all this food down here, including all the Institute food packets that look really boring! Really boring! And all the booze here! All of these Gwynedd ales and lagers, all of these wines and spirits, and all the Institute bottled water that is really boring. Moving on from that... The others are talking about some creature. I... I thought I saw it. Maybe. But you didn't see it, Sean. Let's look instead at all of these pieces of kitchenware. All these glasses. All of these plates. It took a long time to accumulate a collection of plates this big and this clean. All of these utensils and everything else. And these flags, an undamaged flag, and an Anchorage veteran's flag. Could consider themselves a and look over here, at this. Life. Me? I'm very successful. You are very successful, Piper. Very successful. Here is the uniform worn by a former Minuteman general. Barry is the general of the Minuteman right now. And this is an association that Barry hasn't ended violently. We're going to live here, right? I think it's great. Yes, we are. Yes, we are, Sean. We're going to live here forever. Barry is working with the Minutemen to make the Commonwealth a safer place, uniting all of the settlements in peace and cooperation. He also works with another organization that I can't really talk about because they're super secretive. And we haven't ended that association violently or explosively. That's two whole associations that have ended amicably. Here's a workshop, full of rubbish. Don't believe me? Look at this! Look at all this stuff that we have accumulated. Suffice to say, it's a large pile of junk. And over here is a large collection People of toys. People like me. They like to tinker with things too. I like to tinker with things too, Sean. There are many people out there that like to tinker. Here are all the toys that I've accumulated for Sean to play with, including three copies of Blast Radius the board game. You never know when you might lose a piece of it, and then you'll have Maybe to go and find another to piece. Us, it's so annoying when that happens. Covenant is under attack. I'll deal with that later. I may not deal with it. Here is Piper's work desk, where she works at uh, writing lots of articles for her uh, publications. There's a typewriter, a camera, it's that strange, pistol. But... 
You never know when you need that pistol for, uh, journalism in Diamond City. And a magnifying glass for sleuthing. Over here is another memento of a previous adventure. But to talk about it, we have to talk about this souvenir, for this is a perfect replica of the Silver Shroud's costume. It definitely isn't being used by Barry as an actual costume to be the Silver Shroud and go around good neighbor pretending to be a fictional superhero. That, that never happened. It totally happened. And the Silver Shroud definitely didn't go to deal with the Mechanist, an evil villain who actually wasn't evil and was persuaded that things were going wrong that weren't under their control and everything was sorted out amicably without... Okay, actually there were loads of explosions and violence, but the Mechanist is still alive! As opposed to the Institute for Children of Atom in Far Harbor and the Brotherhood of Steel. Anyway, focusing away from all the violence and explosions, here's a collection of bobbleheads, a complete collection as well. What an achievement that was finding all of them. Including that strength bobblehead. That one was difficult to find. And what's around this television? This television that hasn't displayed anything apart from please stand by for 200 years or so? I'm told that soon normal service will resume. I actually doubt that will ever happen. Loads and loads of magazines and comics. Accumulated over many, many months of adventuring. Lots of reading material. But there's this umbrella here, and an umbrella stand. I'm very pleased about that. It does rain sometimes, and sometimes it's not radioactive. And over here are things that are easy to grab when sat in this comfortable chair, watching the television that never displays anything. There's a perfectly preserved pie! That thing has remained fresh for over 200 years, and Barry has no idea how. He doesn't have access to any of the ingredients list, so he's thinking about eating it at some point. Maybe. Probably never. And as for the dog bowl that dog meat may someday use, we definitely didn't steal that. May have stolen it. Let's move upstairs, shall we? Well, if there's anything I can do to lighten the load, or, you know... There are so many neat things to mess around with. What I want you to not do, Piper, is what you occasionally do, which is phase through reality, walk through this wall, and sit on a chair beyond the fabric of reality that doesn't exist, thus knocking everything here onto the floor. If you could not do that, which you have done at least once, I'd greatly appreciate it. But you might do that at some point. You're probably going to knock over that oven mitt in a moment, aren't you, trying to use that? Nope, you changed your mind. Let's go upstairs to the bedroom, where there is this dresser full of lots of clothing that's been accumulated over many adventures and Jangles the Moon Monkey. Hello, Jangles. You're looking insane and in pain. Don't look like you're in pain. You can't help it, can you? And one comfortable bed. And a suitcase full of nothing. And up here, in the final area, is a tiny bathroom. With a sink and some soap, a plunger to deal with the toilet, a hamper with nothing in it, three toothbrushes, and some toothpaste. And a small area for Sean, who never sleeps. There's definitely nothing to imply from that. Not at all. Here's the bed. Here's a filing cabinet that's definitely meant to be some drawers to store all the toys that's called a filing cabinet. A clean globe, and a few toys, but nothing beats all the toys down here. And with that, that is an entire tour of Home Plate. Complete with memories, complete with mementos and souvenirs, complete with violence and explosions that I tried to skirt around but failed because you can easily come up with what happened with what I said, and complete with a son who makes no sense being here because remember, I found my son and I killed my son, and here's I my son. The cars that worked. It would be really fun to drive one. It would be fun to drive one, very fun to drive one, and you're not sat on that chair properly. That's not how you sit on a chair. The chair is physically clipping into your body. That looks painful. Never thought a reporter could consider And so, when we come back, folks, more adventures, me? but not here. For I don't think I'll be showing off any adventures in Fallout. I've pretty much done most of them. There, of course, will always be more to do, like going to defend Covenant. But those are adventures for Barry and Barry's friends alone.
And when we come back, folks, more adventures in other worlds. Worlds which don't have associations ending violently and explosively. Barry's really good at that. Maybe he should put that on his business card. Barry, savior of the Commonwealth, ends associations violently and explosively. That probably wouldn't get him many customers. Yeah, probably wouldn't. I'll have to work on that. And I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.